Still in India, we have lot many patients who are suffering with rheumatic heart disease. And because of this, lot many patients, they get disease in very early on. As compared to the Western counterpart, where mostly they have a degenerative disease or ischemic uh, mitral valve disease, which comes much, much later as compared to the Indian subcontinent. Initially, these valves may not produce too much uh, disturbance in the hemodynamics. But as the disease advances, definitely there will be a disturbance of the hemodynamics and patient will get symptoms. I was taking a walk early in the morning at four, about 4 o'clock. Suddenly I felt suffocation. I stopped, slowed down and went down. Then I thought to go to a doctor. I went to my family doctor who checked me up and he told that my pulse was also missing sometimes. So better you go to a cardiologist. When the heart valves do not work as they should, they cause heart murmurs. Which are known as murmurs. And these murmurs gives us idea whether patient has got a which valve involvement. Then we refer these patients to uh, various investigations. We can ask for uh, radiological investigations, we ask for ECG, and then we ask for echocardiography. With valvular disease, medication is often used as a first line of defense, but may not be a permanent solution. There is no medicine to cure the heart valve disease, but definitely we use some of the medication to treat the symptoms of the individuals. Now, issue is what we will see if the patient, they don't get treated. They land up in heart failure. And the lot of patients who don't get appropriate timely treatment, they get recurrent uh, heart failure, they get uh, multiple time admission to the hospital and then eventually they die of heart failure. After all the investigations suggested by the doctor, I was told that I need to go for heart valve repair uh, surgery. So when I was told that I need to go through a surgery, so I was very much terrified and shocked because at such a young age, I have to go uh, to a open heart surgery but doctors told me that nowadays there's a different technology they can do a minimal invasive kind of a surgery where they need to probably cut a two inch or three inch kind of an insertion and do the repairs from that. We started repairing and replacing the heart valve with the miniaturized incision what is called a, a port incision or minimal access incision or keyhole surgery. So with this kind of incision which is two to three inches. Patient, they don't uh, get a big scar in the middle of the chest. Now with this, this small incision, we avoid uh, the excessive blood loss, hence we don't use much blood and blood products. And cosmetically, this is good. We can discharge the patient very early and also the post-op pain is less. They uh, resume their work in three weeks time as compared to three month time, which they have to need for conventional cardiac surgery.